Hey guys, I'm Love Teen here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm doing a ranking of the um, signature allies for Marvel Champions card game. And these five heroes here do not have one, so they will not be included in the list because of that. So now we're going to get onto the uh, list, into the ranking, and let me know what you think of the ranking. Okay, now time to rank the 19 allies I have here because five of them, uh, five of the heroes don't have an ally, signature ally. So the first one is Ant-Man. Uh, he is Wasp's signature ally. He has a four cost, scheme two, attack two, three health. If you're in giant form, he gets plus one attack. If you're in tiny form, he gets plus one thwart. I just don't think it's worth it. I think my issue with Ant-Man Wasp already can sometimes have a cost issue, and I don't know, I, I sometimes, I just don't use him, <laughs> I guess. I just don't use Ant-Man, like, I do not know the last, I think I've used this card once. I do not like this ally. I think if he was three, it would be a lot better, but he's four, so I just don't ever put him into play. He's just there for the wild resource. That's the best thing I could say about him. So... He's just too expensive for what he does. The next one I have the exact same issues with is War Machine. He's Iron Man's ally. He has a 4 cost, 4 to 1 attack to 4 health. Um, the only reason it's higher is because you can exhaust him, deal 2 damage to him, and deal 1 damage to each enemy. That can be really good if you have facing a villain like Ultron or with really have some weak minions in play. But... Once again, just use him for the wild. He's not one I really enjoy. So, War Machine's 18. 17 is uh, She Hulk's signature ally. Uh, Hellcat with a 3 cost, or 2 attack a 1, 3 health. In action, you can return her to your hand. Uh, my issue with her, the thwarting isn't bad, especially because She Hulk can sometimes really need thwarting. Just don't use it. I just never use her. I do not know the last time I used this ally. She's, I think, for She-Hulk, a little too expensive. So I just never put her into play. I normally run cheaper allies or better allies, um, especially because I like to run her in Justice. So I don't really need the thwart. So personally, just don't use her. Uh, this next one, I'm a little mixed on. We have Lady Sif for Thor. Thor 2, 4 cause, Thor 2, attack 2, 3 health. And after she enters play, ready Thor or Odinson. Now she's great. Except the four cost, where because of the four cost and Thor's very small hand size, I most of the time am skipping her my first round. I'm not playing her until I am through my deck a second time. So she's useless my first go round, except for the wild, but I don't know. She's a great ally. If she costs three. Um, she'd be a lot better because she'd be able to come out anytime, but if you don't have one of your resource generators in or just can't play her that turn because you need to play other cards, she's too expensive to just be... I guess she's just too expensive to be reliable. That's where I'd put Lady Sif. Uh, this next one is one I admittedly don't have much experience with, but that's Shadowcat. Uh, she's Colossus, ally, 3 cost, two, 4, 2, attack, 2, 3 health, uh, pretty good stats. She ignores the guard and patrol keywords and any crisis icons of play. Good ability. Super situational. <laughs> um, and I feel like with Colossus, where you kind of have to play him in Justice if you're playing solo, you know, but you're probably not. So there'll probably be a kitty or another thwarter with X-Men because the X-Men are so team focused. She's just not that useful like ignoring guard and patrol is good i think i guess crisis icons but most of the time you're gonna want to go for the crisis icon i don't know i just don't think she's she's fine but it's too super situational uh the next one we have is lockhead for kitty bread he is a two cost four to one attack one two health dragon and x-men i just think it's cool to point out he's a dragon uh response after you end the play if you are in solid mass form deal two damage to an enemy Phase mess form, move to threat. That is really cool, but um, can be very situational. Although, if you're in an alter ego, you can more so manipulate this card if you have him while you're an alter ego, so to get the outcome you want. But a free two, th a free two damage or a free two threat removal and be able to do the other option if you need to is really nice, and he's a two cost, so 
that's why Lockhead is where he is. I'm probably going to have to move stuff, aren't I? Knowing how the hero went, probably. Uh, next is Quicksilver for Scarlet Witch. He has, he's a four cost ally, four to one, attack two, four health, and you can ready him once per phase, which is really nice, just like Quicksil the Quicksilver hero. Uh, I really like this ally. I just, I don't know. I think he's a little expensive because yes, the readying is great and uh, speed has that same cost. I just don't use speed that often, just like with Quicksilver. And most of the time, I feel like Scarlet Witch is going to have other cards. She's going to want to play for cheaper. That can do way more than this. You can play two, you can play a Hex Bolt. You can play a Molecular Decay, and it's just way better. Sure, you can use your, uh, what is it, Chaos Magic, where you can, you know, discard cards and bring them in for free, but, or discard cards off the card deck and bring them in for free, but I don't know. I just don't bring in Quicksilver that option. I'll, the option i don't bring quicksilver that often so that's where he's going i think the four cost is really ex a little too expensive oh yeah he's all wild that's actually really good next is captain marvel uh she is a four cost ally four to two attack to three health and after she uses a basic power draw card also i forgot to mention she's spider woman's ally and a a wild now she is expensive so i don't bring her in too often because with spider woman you have a lot better cards that you can play with your aspect cards, so, but the two twos are great, and being able to draw a card every time you use her, that is just really good. I think she's kind of, I wish she is just for the free card draw alone, and two two, fantastic. So, that's why she's going, uh, where's she going? Number what? 19, 18, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, full spot. Next in, actually, can we, she's 12, right? We're going to try and make a little room to have the top 10 be up there. Can't see it, man. That's fine. Next in number 11, we have Red Dagger, Miss Miss Marvel's ally. Three cost ally, Thor two, attack two, three health. He is a champion, which is interesting. I think he's the only signature ally, at least that I have. But no, Miss Marvel is for Nova. So all the ones I have, he's the only champion ally. Uh, three health, he has an interrupt. When he when he is defeated, spend two resources of different types, deal two damage to an enemy, and return him to your hand. But that is not bad. The issue being, I always forget the, about the damage, but uh, being able to return an ally to your hand, and he has a really good cost and a really good stat line. So all around, he's just good. I mean... Honestly, I don't think no Miss Marvel even really needs help, but this is a really good signature ally, so that's why he's in eleventh place. In uh tenth place. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, tenth place we have Spider Woman, who is Captain Marvel's signature ally. She's three cost ally, Thor two, attack two, two health, and after she enters plague, fuse the villain. That's just that's just so valuable. Also, she's a wild, especially Captain Marvel, who most of the time is going to be running an aggression or leadership deck, which doesn't normally have, well, I guess basically an aggression, but she could be fun in leadership. But you don't really have much confusion with uh, most Captain Marvel decks, so being able to just get a free confusion in her kit, even if you're running a Justice or Confusion deck, that's just valuable. A free confuse on the villain is insane, and plus 2-2 two, two line for 3 Fantastic. She is a fantastic ally. That is why she is number 10. Uh, number 9 is Mockingbird, who is... No. No. No, swap it. Number 9 is Shuri, Black Panther's ally. 2 cost ally, 4 to 1, attack 1, 3 health, and after she enters play, search your deck for an upgrade and add to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Uh, as I said, she's Black Panthers. She is really good, uh, especially early game for Black Panther. For 2 costs, you get to go find one of your Black Panther upgrades, or if you already have them all out, just go get another upgrade in your deck. So you want at least 5 upgrades. <laughs> just kidding. But um, she's really good. I do think the three health always, I always forget about the three health. I always think she's a two cost or two health, but she's three. 
Um, the thing that just holds her back for me is this very small stat line, but uh, she's really good, still a great ally, and can really help you set up with Black Panthers, so that's why she's at number 9. Uh, number 10, or number 7, we have Mockingbird. This is Hawkeye's signature ally. She is a 3 cost, 4 to 2, attack 2, 3 health. Um, interrupt when the villain initiates an attack against you, spend one resource of any type and return her to your hand, prevent all damage from that attack. That is insane. <laughs> um, if she was a basic ally, she would be in every single deck, I can guarantee you, if this version of Mockingbird was in the game anywhere else. Like, a 3 cost, 2-2, two, two, and you could just prevent damage, all the damage, so it could be a 10 hit attack and you're not taking any of it. Also, she's a wild, which is insane but like she's just so good <laughs> um i often find after i'm set up with Augie, i have my bow and my expert marksman and the quiver all in so i can just do arrows without you know just have the arrows ready constantly you're just you're just doing a constant cycle of putting her in play putting her back into your hand and just defending with her and even if you want to get more out of her you can flip to alter ego have her for her attack for a turn and then do that the next turn She's just insane. She is, in my opinion, maybe one of the best allies in the game. Our next one, I'm going to say this wrong, Venom, V-E-N, hashtag M, Venom, ben I don't know, Venom, um, from SPDR, or Spider, I think it's SPDR, so it's V-E-N, hashtag M, SPDR pack. I don't know. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say Venom. So Venom is a four cost, the word of one, attack two, three health ally, which sounds really bad at first, but then you read what she says. Uh, she gets a plus one thwart, plus one attack for each sim counter on her, and her response after she enters play: place one sim counter on her for each resource generated by her spider suit sink ratio ability to pay for her. AKA, she can yes be a one one. Or if you use only her uh, sync ratio ability to pay for her, she's a 5-5. Five, five. I honestly could have put her at the top just for that alone, but like, that's insane. <laughs> that's really good. I haven't played with her much, but she deserves, She earned the number 6 spot just from that alone. She can be a 5-5 five, five or whatever you need, but getting the potential of a 5-5 five, five ally gets her right where she is. Uh, the next ally we have is Black Widow's signature ally, Winter Soldier. He's a 4 cost, the war 2, attack 2, 4 health. Avenger, spy ally. Why did some of them do I say with their Avenger ally? I just realized. Venom doesn't have any trait. Anyways, um, the reason Winter Soldier is here is because you reduce the cost to play for, pay him, or reduce the cost to play him by 1 for each preparation card you control. So, if you have 5, or 4 preparation cards... He's coming in for free. Would you be able to get a free two two four ally? That's why he that's why he's number six. I feel like a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. But number six just for that alone, just for being able to bring him in for free. And his great stats. The next one is one I've always enjoyed, is Quicksilver Signature Ally, Scar the Witch. She's three cost ally, thwart one, attack a one, three health. But the reason she is where she is, is interrupt. When you use one of her basic powers, discard the top card of the encounter deck. For each boost icon discard this way, Scar the Witch gets plus one to that power for that use, and she's a wild. So, just like SPDR, she can thwart for like five, if you get the right encounter card, or attack for five, like she can be fantastic. Um, she's a little cheaper than the others, and SPDR, that's probably why she's above, and above Winter Soldier, where I didn't mention this, he can be a little inconsistent, where sometimes I do wait until a second go around in the deck to put him into play, but Scar the Witch is one that I love to get out, um, you know, just very, a little inconsistent, but very powerful when you get it right. Uh, so that was number five. Number four has been one of my favorite signature allies since I, ever since I first used her is Ant-Man's, being the wa being Wasp. Three cost ally, thwart two, attack two, three health. And after she has play, you either deal two damage to enemy if you are a giant, or remove two threat if you are 
in tiny form, which is really helpful because if you need damage and you're in tiny form, you throw it down then. Or if you need a lot of or er, if you need threat removal, throw it down in tiny form. If you need damage, throw it down in um giant or it doesn't even matter you just do that one and then do the opposite so you just deal two damage and thwart for two like she's so good and so versatile and so useful in so many different ways that yeah i love wasp and she's number what four yep uh our next is number three which people will probably yell at me for not putting her number one is vivian from vision or vision's signature ally vivian focus vivian is a two cost ally four to one attack one two health and the reason she is so high besides the wild is when you are in tangible mass form she gets plus two thwart and when you are in dense mass form you get plus two attack so she's either a two two one or a one three or one three one or a one three very good very powerful she can be very powerful ivy you can even build a deck just around vivian and powering her up and just using her as your attacker so yeah vivian is really good very powerful and just a very fun ally that you can build entire decks around so yeah vivian's number three like i said people probably be mad at me for vivian not being number one but i just like these are these next two slightly more uh this next one is agent 13 she is captain america's signature ally she has three costs two thwart one attack three health and after she enters play remove two threat from the scheme that is so good so she can remove four threat in her first turn on the table first turn you put her down that is insane and you can even bring her in for two with cap's ability so to reduce the first ally played by once so she should be a two cost ally to remove two threat coming in and then two more that's insane. If you give her cards like Honorary Avenger and, um, what's the other one? Team Training, right? Yeah, they give her plus one hit point, give her plus two hit points, give her a five health. She can just be a thwarting machine. I mean, just without any health boost, though, you can remove six to eight threat, depending on if you block with her in her last turn, so, and her with her last health, so. Yeah, Agent 13 is one really good thwarter. That's why she's where she is. And then, this last one. I don't know. Uh, this last, the number one, is one I've just always really enjoyed ever since I first played with this ally, is Spider-Man's signature ally, Black Cat. Black Cat is a two cost, the word of one, attack of one, two health ally. Now there's two really interesting things about Black Cat. The force response that after you play her from your hand, discard the top two cards of your deck, and each card with a printed mental resource discard this way to your hand. You add each one with a printed mental resource to your hand. Now, it does have to be printed, which means no wild, but you can just build a very mental heavy deck and that doesn't matter. And also, she can get you things like Genius into your hand, which, when that happens, is insane. But what I really like about Black Hat is the no consequential damage. No consequential damage. She's one of, like, I don't know, there's, like, what, two or three allies that do not take consequential damage, and I'm not including ones like Spider Ham. I'm not talking about ones like Spider Ham, where it's, like, Yes, they take odds, cluster of damage, but it depends on the boost I They cannot take, or they might not take it, but it depends on the boost icon, stuff like that. No. She's like Yandu. She just doesn't take damage. That's insane. <laughs> that is so powerful. And you can just build decks just powering her up and just having her, just like with Vivian, you can have her being your entire whatever. Just your entire game being about her. I've done that. It's fun. I built an entire deck, like a leadership deck. It's fun. Up. Uh, I should do a video where it's Vivian and Black Cat being powered up. That'd be fun. Now I have a deck idea. Now I have a video idea. But yeah, so Black Cat is my favorite signature ally in the game. And here is the final look at all, what, 18 uh, signature allies played out. Let me know what you, what would you put this list in? What do you think of it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What is your list of your favorite signature allies? And where would you put them and why? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what I sh what allies should I rank in next? What should I rank the villains? Should I rank the nemesis sets? I do. I'm planning to rank all four aspect allies, including and then the basic. I'm going to probably rank those soon. I want to do this first because this is more interesting. And eventually, 
I will do another hero update. But um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.